What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing? I'm doing great. This is Glass of Gamer. I'm coming out to an episode of Thieves Island Pugnation Modded. Woohoo! Arc. Aha! So, today we're going to go ahead and do a viewer request uh, to build a base that's for level 40 to 50. So, that's definitely doable. So, let's get started here. So, I'm going to go for a 3x3 three three build. I've got uh, a few foundations here. Uh, I think I'm just going to build it right here into the corner of the uh, building. But I'll build it, you know, just to make it look so it kind of fits a little better. And uh, I'm going to leave a gap. Uh, I like leaving gaps between the walls. And the reason I do that is if a dino sticks his head through, it won't get attacked by something else that's not good. So we're going to try maybe a 3x3, three three, maybe a 4x4. Four four. We'll try that. Uh, so that's uh, 1, 2, 3. Is that... This is a 3x3 three three structure. It's pretty small, but, uh, you know, let's go for a 4x4. Four four. We'll, we'll give it a, a little bit of extra room here. And let's see here. There we go. And we'll bring it over here like so. 4x4 building is not going to be too expensive to begin with. Uh, plus, you know, when you're first starting off, you just want to get your base going. And you really don't want to have to... You, you just need a place to put your stuff, essentially. You're not looking at, you know, building... This is my primary base. This is my main base deal. Uh, so that's why I'm going to build a 4x4 base. Just to show you it can be done without having to build ridiculously large bases to start with. And then later on, you can just expand on it. That's that's all you got to do. And let me uh, keep doing this. So just pretend that uh, this is there's no wall around me here. I'm just doing this just to uh, keep the riffraff off me while I build. Otherwise, if I build out in the wild area, I'm going to end up having raptors attack me. And it'll just make the video take too long. All right. And I'm going to put a doorway here, obviously. All right. So... Now we've got our basic base built, you know, the foundations down. Let's, uh, let's do something nice. Let's put a little porch in the front. Gotta have a happy little porch. There we go. Go ahead and bring this over here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in our doorway. Now, what are we going to do here? Now you might think, hey, this looks kind of small, but you can fit quite a bit in here. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hmm, now I'm thinking about it, entryway, boom, I can put a bed there, locker there, yeah, that'll be good, and then we'll put our stuff here, so, yeah, let's put our walls in, so I'm just going to go ahead and put walls in just for aesthetics, uh, you don't necessarily have to do this, but, you know, it kind of makes it Gives it a little bit of, you know, divider purpose. Like, you know, you got a room here and a room here. Yeah, I'm, I'll just leave these these rooms open here. And now we're going to go ahead and build our second level. Come on. Uh, windows are optional. Uh, it, it's all entirely up to you. Uh, I didn't build any window blocks, so I'm just going to use walls for now. And, and we, can, uh, we can fix it up later and make it look, uh, you know, all happy and sparkly. It's not a problem. Let's get these in here. Now, the reason I'm going too high is uh, just to accommodate, you know, the large boxes because they are fairly large. And uh, we'll add a second story here, too. Okay, so we're, getting, we're back. We're making some ladders. And uh, I think I'm going to need some ceiling tiles. Did I bring my ceiling tiles? Oh, that's right. I got my ceiling tiles being manufactured as we speak. So let's get that ladder done, and bam, we're good. And I'll leave the ladders right here on the stego, and uh, we'll snag them ceilings. All right, and we're back. So we've got some ceiling tiles ready, and let me just go ahead and drop these in. Now, at this point, you can make a decision. You want to have a one-story, or do you want to have a two-story uh, structure? Uh, 
in the beginning, it's pretty tough to get stuff, especially on the, uh, you know, the regular servers. And uh, you may not have enough materials to do that. So what you could do is just build a one story to begin with, then drop a hatchet and a stone, you know, a, a ladder. And then you could use that to build a second story and uh, have a little extra room, you know, for storage and stuff. All right, so we're going to continue here. I'm going to go ahead and put my door in. Got to have a door. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a hatch right here. And it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be. You can put it wherever you like. Uh, but I'm going to put mine right here. A happy little hatch. There we go. This way, when you use your ladder, let me put the ladder in. Or door hatching. And there we go. You're not going to be running off this, you know, run right off the ceiling. So let me grab my ladders. There we go. Yeah, we'll grab our stone walls with us while we're at it. Ugh, I'm encumbered. Let's put that there. Perfect. Okay, so let's get back to it. So now I've got my hatch here. Let me get my ladder in. See how can we fit this? There we go. That's not too bad. So we can. Whoop. Let's climb that up there. And now we can uh, put our second story on. It also helps us put our ceiling tiles in too. I just find it a little bit easier, you know, just to get that second layer in. So if you're into building a second level, this would be a quick way to do it to give yourself some big real estate. And uh, let me throw my walls in. Now you can either do a sloped roof or you can do a flat roof. Uh, either way is acceptable. Either way is fine. Uh, some people like to do it that way. And one little trick you could do is once you get your ceiling up, uh, if you wanted to make this the top layer, you could actually just take doorways and make them look like little porticles, like a, like a castle. There we go. Almost there. And I think later on we're going to decorate this with some eco mods. But uh, for now we're just going to get the basic structure just to show you what it's all about. And then we'll get there. All right. Let me gamma up. There we go. Get a little dark. Okay, so I'm going to put just a flat roof uh, for now. But, but you guys can do whatever you want it. I usually do flat... Uh, you know what I could do is I could do the example little porticles. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea how it would look. You could either do it like this, or you could use doorways. Uh, both work pretty good. Just to give it a little design aspect. Oop. Ah! Didn't work. Alright, let me break this one. Yeah, let's get another hatch. Alright, well that's building that. We'll go ahead and put in what we've got. Just to kind of give you an idea how it's gonna look. It, you know, it's a little a little a little base for now, but it can get bigger. That's the cool thing about building his bases. You can just keep adding on to them. Just for looks. And let's go ahead and put in that hatch. There we go. A trap door. And of course some ladders. Now I'm going to put my ladder off to the side on this one. And uh, if I can line it up. This way you're not going to climb straight to the top. You can climb as high as you want to climb. And I think I should be able to grab that right here. Or not. Come on. 
There we go. Eat a climb. We'll close that and eat a climb. All right, perfect. So now that I've got that up here, I'm going to go ahead and finish off what we started. Let's pick up that stone wall. There we go. We'll drop that in. And more ceilings. There we go. That's mostly just for design, just to have like a little bit of rooftop uh, lookout. You don't necessarily need it, but it's kind of neat to have. It's like an allosaur over there hanging out doing stuff. Gotta watch those guys. They got some serious teeth. All right, let's go ahead and get our rest of our stuff. Our ceiling should be done. Uh. Yeah, had them all on. Nice. Okay. So this one, I'm kind of making like a little mini castle kind of feel to it. So let me climb up. And we'll fill in the blanks here. There we go. All right, and this would actually make a really good starter base, I think. Uh, you're looking at, if you're looking for level 40 to 50, you, you don't need to have anything crazy. You just need, yeah. uh, here, I gotta get out. You can reposition that ladder later. But as you can see, it's kind of like a neat little castle type base. Uh, it's functional and it gives you a, the ability to do a lick a lookout to see if there's any dinos around. And uh, I mean, right now this is kind of like just part one. We'll do a part two, I believe on this one. Just to make it look a little, just to spruce it up a little. Uh, plus we'll add our smithy, our, you know, uh, your fabricator you might not have by 50, but you know, we'll add our smithy, forges, uh, a bed obviously, and uh, some storage units. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do from here. And uh, we'll go to a part two later. Uh-oh, uh oh, terrible disaster. K-mode. Wanted to go to K-mode, not... Go to Gamma Five. Uh, Quetzal, you, you can you can just sit down. Any, anyway. <laughs> so this is Blasted Gamer. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye bye. <laughs>